everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna go over what I got in my March grocery haul. <music> is a little bit different than some of my other ones. You're gonna see some things that are, are the same, some things that are a little different. I did do a Walmart pickup order for most of it, and then I got some stuff at a store called Cops. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have heard of that store. And then I also needed to stop at the Dollar Tree because I needed to get some stuff that, um, I don't know, I'm doing some stuff on the side kind of thing and I needed to see if I could get some stuff there. And I ended up getting extra stuff that um, is like food items and stuff. So I'll share that with you. And then I also have some clearance items that I got at COPS. And I also got some Easter stuff, but that I will share in another video. I'll do um, what I got my kids for Easter and I will do that later. Um, maybe in the beginning of April or something like that, whenever I get that, you know, ready. So I will do that, but I do have uh, some new things and then I probably won't go over like recipes or anything in this video. I will just tell you everything that I got. And then maybe in the next like couple weeks or whatever, I'm gonna share other ideas with you guys um, that I found on um, YouTube that people are doing. Also, my daughter is doing some stuff. So I'm kind of gonna be copying her and uh, trying it out and see if um, it'll make things last a little bit longer with our food. So I will share that in another video. So let's get started because there's a lot to go over. And um, yeah. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go over what I got for clearance items. These are the things that I got when I went in the store. And then they have this little section that they always have clearance stuff. I'm glad that I went over there because I found some stuff that I could use and reduce price. All right, so one of the things was these beef sticks. Only one there, so I'm kind of sad, but otherwise I would have bought if bought more if they had more there was some plain bagels for 229 regular or it said it was 449 and miles already went and grabbed one out of there and then i found these almond flour crackers they were 279 and i already opened them and they are really really good we're going to be making a lot of uh, salad soon so i figured i would try this out i know i like raspberry vinaigrette um, but it was only $1.29, so I got that. And then they had um, the seasoning there, so $2.49. It's um, kimchi kick, if I'm saying that right. And then it had uh, made in Korea, multi-purpose seasoning mix, um, vegan, gluten-free, all that kind of stuff. And then it has like red peppers and um, stuff like that. And it says that it's spicy, salty, tangy, and delicious. And them are all the things that we like. Garlic, sesame, onion, ginger. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this on something. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then they had a little package of chalk and that was 89 cents. We have a little chalkboard right there on the other side of that. So they will be playing with that. We have a bunch of other chalk. I could have got more, I guess, but that's good enough for now. And then this white bread here was $1.49. And it doesn't tell me how much it was before, but that was $1.20 or $1.49. I think um, Lauren will probably like that. And then I found this water. Uh, natural spring water, and that was, let's see, $2.59, so I got that, and that is everything that I got clearance-wise, but now I'm going to go over the other stuff that I got from that store. So I found these there, coconut chips, I got two bags of them, and Miles will probably like them more than anybody else. I got this Ultimate Immune Orange Elderberry and Zinc. It's an orange juice, um, and Hudson, I, th I thought Hudson already opened that up, but um, he said it tastes just like orange juice, so I'm gonna give that a try. And then these were, I think it was like five for 10 or five or more for 10. So I got these, I got three bags of the ch cheddar cheese ones, 
And then I got two bags of these. And these are the ones that um, Eli likes. He likes these. So I got them. And then I got a thing of vanilla wafers. I just got the generic pack. I got a thing of string cheese from there. And then I got, let's see. Okay, so Lauren's Coffee was there. It's usually like $7.99 at that store and they were $6.99 for the bigger bags. So I got two of them for him. And then I also have been into these little snack things from Walmart, but I saw that they had them at cops. So I got this. Oh, it says Kroger on there, but I don't know. Maybe our cops is a Kroger. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody can correct me on that. Okay, so this is pepper jack cheese, raisin, honey, and roasted peanuts. I've been eating these for breakfast instead of having waffles or um, anything else. So these have been really good for me for breakfast. So I got a couple of that kind. And then this is the cheddar cheese, salted, roasted cashews, and dried cranberries. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So them are going to last me for a while. Miles also um, likes stuff like that. When I refer to Miles a lot is because he's the one that can't have certain things or is affected by certain foods. So he rather have stuff that is a little bit more healthy than maybe some of my other kids. Um, but some of my other kids maybe would snack on one of them. Um, for like a daily thing, but Miles is a little bit different when it comes to stuff. So if you hear me say Miles, it's usually the ones, the stuff that's maybe a little bit healthier than some of the other stuff. All right. So then they also had this. It's a balanced break cheese and crackers. So I got one of them or two of them, and then they have three in a pack. And these were only a dollar or something there. So that's why I got a bunch of these. And these were two for $7, but you're getting six of them in a package. All right. And then they had a sale on this uh, corned beef brisket. So I got two of them and they were $4.99 a pound. So I think I paid like $9.90 and then $7.54 or something like that on these. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but we'll see what I'm going to do. And then um, kind of a funny thing is I found these there and I was looking for these cookies called Lady Fingers and I couldn't find them um, because we were going to make uh, a dessert called tiramisu and I just tried it recently with um, a group of ladies. We went out to eat and I tried it and it was delicious. So I'm going to give it a try with these and see if it's going to even turn out the same. I just couldn't find the lady fingers anywhere. And when I did, they were like $20 for a small bag and I needed like two of them. So I wasn't going to do that. So well, let's try this out and see if it's similar to what uh, we are going for. All right. So that is everything that I got from COPS. And then I went to the dollar store. So I ended up getting some hydrocortisone cream. Um, we just use that every once in a while when uh, the kids have an issue with some, you know, our family has like sensitive skin. So sometimes we use that. And then I have some microwave safe plates, but this is not what I'm going to be using it for. I have some painting thing that I'm doing and I'm going to be using uh, the plates for that. And there's two of them. And now our family dollar went up to a dollar twenty five instead of a dollar. So our dollar tree. So, yeah, the prices went up there. I have two things of camo uh, toothbrushes. And then I also was able to find these at the Dollar Tree, which are a little bit different. Uh, these are beef steak, sunflower, and raisins. So these have more of a meat in them than uh, the other ones that I showed you. And then I found these crackers, Greta crackers. I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with them. And then I found some croutons there. I also found some cooking spray there. Uh, I found these there and these I will be eating probably with these crackers and then them other flour, whatever crackers that I showed you before. Um, so I got lemon pepper tuna. I got buffalo style chicken salad, buffalo, stick, buffalo style chicken salad. Um, they come with crackers. This one is chicken salad. I had one this morning and it was really good. And then I got ranch and another ranch one. 
So if I like all of these, I probably will go back and just buy a bunch of them because that's just what I would snack on or have for breakfast also. Um, I think that is all I got from the Dollar Tree. So not much, but I like I said, I have a lot of other stuff that I bought there for Easter and that is not going to be in this video. All right, so that's everything on that side. I'll go over meat and stuff that I got from Walmart Pickup. When I went over the prices for the meat, we all know that meat prices are going up and I just had to try to see what I was gonna do to make it cheaper. So I bought two five pound and I think it came up to like $38. And then I averaged it out, I think it was like $3.80 per pound. I am going to just cut them in one pound sections and then just freezing them that way. I have two things of bacon. I have two things of hot dogs. We don't eat hot dogs that much, but with our new menu thing, um, that is one of the meal plans for our menu. And then I got one of these uh, Jimmy Dean's sausage, and we are going to be making cheese wraps and stuff with them. And like a breakfast uh, sausage burrito thing. And then I have a package of chicken thigh fillets. I actually got a bigger one, but they didn't have it. It was out of stock. So I only got this little one, but I ended up finding a frozen bag of them, and I'll just use that. All right, and then sausage for breakfast. And then I got these stir fry beef bottom round steak for stir fry. I actually am going to be using these for um, wraps and different things. Also like a Philly steak wrap. And then I have a whole package of chicken breast. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to be doing with that, but that is gonna be probably put in the freezer for a little while. All right, and then I got two things of eggs. I thought I ended up getting another one, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to be trying out some recipes on my channel, and I needed a lot of eggs. Even though we get a lot of eggs from our chickens, they weren't. it's not enough to do these recipes. So that is why I got that. And then I found this steak seasoning, and that is going to go with the Philly steak stuff. I have some sunflower seeds and we're gonna be adding that to our salads. I have heavy whipping cream and that is going to be for that tiramisu when we make it. We needed some more vanilla extract. Um, I got some raw honey. I saw in some of my other grocery hauls, my kids really like these and these are something quick that they can just grab. So I got one, two, three, four, five of these. I actually think I got these at the Dollar Tree. The kids put these in a different area. So these I got at the Dollar Tree also. And if I remember, I will put the price of what I all spent for everything below the video in the description per store, if that helps. Because the on the um, thumbnail of the video, I think I will put the total amount that I spent all together. So if you wanna know what I spent individually for everything, just go below the video in the description and I will um, have that in there. All right, so then I got two packs of the unsweetened applesauce. We've been getting a lot of applesauce packets and Doing it the great value way was a lot cheaper than um, doing it the other way I was doing it. Actually buying them in the container, like the bigger containers is cheaper. I would just need to learn how to find maybe some containers or something that I can you know, pour them out in and just store them in the fridge. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have a great idea or I could just store them in, you know, buy the bigger containers and then, um, put them in little jelly jars or something and put them in the fridge and then the kids could just grab. That would be another option. That's a good idea. All right, so I have a bag of chicken thighs. I will leave the price of this on the bottom of the screen for you guys to uh, see what I spent on that. So I have a meal coming up pretty soon on one night that we need corn. So I got frozen because it's not really in season right now for us to get like regular corn on the cob. So that I got that. And then we kind of ran out of taco seasoning. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And then we have taco night. So I think I would only really need like, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 
maybe like, because we do like three pounds for our family. So I actually maybe even need more than this for the month because we'll have four nights of tacos, if that makes sense. Eventually, I'll share with you guys what we're doing for our meal plan, but we're still in the works of making sure that it's going to work for us. All right, so I got two things of raspberries, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be doing with them. Okay, and I also got some hummus also to um, add with some of the vegetables and stuff. I will just cut it up and eat it with that. So I have a big thing of spring mix, and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys also in another video. I have a thing of these little uh, oranges. I'll be doing something with them pretty soon. All right, so I got some kale, and then I have some blueberries, red peppers, two red peppers. I have a bunch of lime because we are going to be making chicken tacos. Um, I have some bag of carrots. I also have some shredded carrots because I'm going to be doing two different things with them. Uh, two things of broccoli. That'll be for our salads. I have a whole bag of avocados and that is going to be for our chicken tacos. I have a package of celery. I have some mushrooms. I have one red onion, two of them. A uh, thing of bananas. And then two things of chives or green onions. And then, I don't know if I mentioned the green peppers. I have a package of grapes. I usually only get one package because once this goes, then we always go back and get uh, fruits and vegetables like through the month. But this doesn't last as long. But I have some ideas that I'm going to be sharing with you guys on how to make your fruit last longer. All right. So I have a bunch of them, and that is because of what we're going to be doing. So I'm trying to think if that's all I have for fruit. I have a bag of Honeycrisp apples right here. And our the Honeycrisp apples have been kind of rising too in price, and I think I paid like $7 per bag. So that's kind of crazy right now. Tabasco. All right, so I have two things of multi-grain bread, the 12 grain. That is really good from Walmart. I have some of these. I got these before. They're the pop-in chicken. This is just something quick. If I'm like in a time crunch, they are a dollar. And this is good size for Evelyn and the twins. Maybe not my other kids, but um, maybe I could tie it in with like a bunch of sides and fruits and stuff with this. Um, because we always have fruit or something like that on the side with most of our meals. So I got one, two, three, four, five six i think i got ten seven eight nine ten of them so i really like it when they have them in stock because then i can just pull them out quick and that's like a little meal um i have one two three four of the cheese one two three four of the jack's pepperoni and then we have one home run pizza we also have um wednesday night is our pizza night because the kids have youth groups so it just makes it easy on us to pick one simple meal for that night all right so i have two things of waffles and of oreos a big thing of cookies this was cheaper than buying any other package of cookies and if i want to i can put half of them in the freezer and then leave the other half for snacking on um, just so that they don't go so quickly. I bought two things of Z bars. These are pretty pricey and I only do it once in a while for um, Miles and some of the kids, but we also are gonna be doing um, granola bars pretty soon or learning how to make them. I have two boxes of confetti box cake and this is gonna be for Evelyn's cake. And then I have two white cake for, um, I have a cake that I have to make soon. And then also Hudson's birthday is coming up. So I need to make a cake for him. So I actually need to buy, I think two more boxes of white cake mix for that extra cake. And then I got two things of olive oil and I did not mean to get two of them. I got a smooth one and a robust one. 
And I didn't really realize, but now that I'm looking at it, one's for stir frying and one's for salad. So that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that that's what I did. So that'll work out good because uh, we're gonna be making them salads and stuff. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how we can tie that in with some stuff. All right, so then I got some Velveeta cheese because we make queso with that. And then I have um, a package of dinosaur oatmeal. I thought I ordered two of these, but maybe not. All right, and then I got a package of chewy chocolate chip granola bars. I got a big thing of the dip granola bars. Oh, I did, see, I thought I did. Another thing of dinosaur oatmeal. Two things of vinegar, because I use that for our laundry system. I got two things of granola for that pastry thing that I'm gonna be making. I have a box of crackers, and then we are low on cereal, so I got some frosted mini wheats, I got some life, I got some frosted flakes, I got some cinnamon toast crunch, I got some Reese's pieces, I got some tricks, I got some fruit loops, and then I got a thing of Lucky Charms. Uh, I got three things of white instant rice. So I got one, two, and three. And some of this can go in our dry storage because I won't be able to store that up in our cabinet that there's too many of them. All right, and then on to the drinks. I got two things of these 12, eight ounces of these mini waters. I don't always do that, but I figured it would be fun for the kids to just pull one out every once in a while. And then Miles likes this aha, so I got the blueberry pomegranate and then the lime and watermelon. This bubbly was supposed to be in with the cops because Walmart does not carry this. Um, but this one is sparkling water. It's berry and it has 35 milligrams of caffeine. No calories, no sweeteners. Um, so this one, oh, it's called Triple Berry. I had someone, I think it was even my cousin that told me about this. And I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper and stuff and I switched over to Diet Dr. Pepper. And I just was having a lot of issues with drinking regular Dr. Pepper for a little while there. So I wanted to try this out and see if um, that would be okay. And it's pretty good, but if you don't, if you don't like seltzer water, then you probably wouldn't like this. Um, but otherwise, it's still a better alternative than soda. All right, so then the kids always watch another YouTube channel, and one of the guys on there always drinks uh, YooHoo's. So I got one just to have the kids try one or whatever. So we'll see if the kids like that. So I got a thing of pickles. The kids make the chicken patties, uh, and then they eat it on a sandwich or whatever, but they've been asking for pickles to go with that. And then um, kind of similar to the McDonald's McChicken or chicken they have a new chicken sandwich there or something. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five of the regular O Snaps. And I think these are about a dollar a piece too, dollar something. So I got um, the spicy ones. So I got one, two, three, four, five of them. And then I got a box of taquitos. I have two things of wraps, which I think I got the wrong size. These are kind of small. I meant to get the bigger one, so I got two of them. This steak cut fries. I don't remember if I ever got these for the kids, so we'll see if they like them. And then a bag of chicken nuggets. Um, I have chicken patties. I got three bags of chicken patties, so that should last us um, for most of the month when it is chicken patty day. All right, so I found another bag of chicken thighs, so we have that. And then we have another thing of chicken nuggets. So that'll last us for a while. Um, and then we also have like chicken wrap day and stuff like that. So we have two different days that we do chicken. I have one thing of milk because Lauren always gets milk. And then I got one thing of cranberry juice because they add it to Sprite. So we have two things of Sprite. Miles drinks the almond milk. So we have that. I got one thing of Go-Gurt. And then we have three things of yogurt. 
one bag of the flaming hot doritos and then i have the spicy nachos these are extremely spicy so miles and everybody likes them and then some of the little ones like just the regular well they're not the regular doritos they're still spicy but not as bad and then i got the no bean hormel i got three four of them and that is for our queso I have two things of nacho cheese. I have the mild cheddar, two of them, and then two of the spicy. And then I have a bag of the dill pickle. And then I think this is the last thing is the party Tostitos chips. So that's everything that I got for this grocery haul. I do want to point out one thing. If you guys never see any like toiletry stuff in any of my hauls, that's because Lauren always does that on his own and he always has like a stockpile in our garage. So he always has that for like, um, cause we do a lot of storage and stuff. So he always has toilet paper and all that stuff. Like if the kids need pull-ups, um, you know, wipes if we still, cause some of the, some of the kids have to wear pull-ups at night. Otherwise, we're pretty much done with um, diapers. So a lot of that stuff, Lauren gets like the toothbrushes, toothpaste. Um, we order our toothpaste on Amazon, so we don't even get that from a store. And then, um, what else? I'm trying to think of what some other stuff. Like he always buys a lot of the milk. If I need extra drinks or whatever, he'll get that through the month. A lot of stuff that he wants, like extra treats and stuff, he eats a little bit different than all of us. So if he wants something that he wants to bring with him to work or whatever, he gets a lot of that on his own. So mainly what I show you is stuff that I make for meals for all of us, and then he'll eat meals with us at nighttime. Um, but he gets all his snacky stuff, and then... As for, let's say I need um, bags or, you know, Ziploc bags or wrap and stuff for our containers and stuff. Lauren gets all that foil. Um, so, and that's kind of random. So I would never be able to like share any of that with you guys. So I just wanted to clear that up real quick that you probably would never see that unless I did like a major, you know, Costco haul or something like that. And it was something that we would just do at that time. But usually we don't um, do that together. So he takes care of all that kind of stuff. And I do all the grocery shopping. That just makes it a lot easier for both of us. Um, and then uh, he knows exactly what we need. Or I give him like a text message so that he has it on his phone. And he's able to pick that up whenever he can pick it up. And then that just makes it easier for all of us. Sometimes he'll go to town every morning and get what we need for the day if there's something that I need that we don't have. Um, but we do have a food storage out in our garage. So a lot of times we kind of just make sure we have everything on hand anyways. It's just more going to be like our fruits and vegetables or... Um, you know, like paper products and different things like paper plates or whatever, he'll go get all of that. So I forgot to share that in some of my other videos. If you guys kind of noticed that I haven't ever shared a lot of that with you guys. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so hopefully that clears a lot of that kind of stuff. So mainly you guys are going to see a lot of food and stuff and maybe like extra stuff for the kids, like little toys or odds and ends kind of things. But otherwise so hopefully you guys like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up that lets youtube know that you guys are liking my grocery hauls and don't forget to subscribe because i share a grocery haul every month in the beginning of the month when i do my big grocery hauls all right so hopefully you guys like today's video and i'll see you in the next one